First, it's 539 here on this beautiful Tuesday morning. A beautiful Tuesday morning, Alex, but chile, cold. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, you walk outside and you're like, oh man, this is different from yeah. what we saw the day before. Yes. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a U-turn later this afternoon and we're going to go right back Two to the upper 70s. So yes, we've got that going for us at least. Here's a live look over Dublin. We've got temperatures in the 30s down in Lawrence County this morning as well. 36 the current number and all of these numbers are going to continue to fall here over the next few hours before the sun begins to rise right around 730. 37 in Perry, 37 in Hawkinsville. we got 36 in Byron. Uh, 36 over in Forsyth and 38 waking up in Jeffersonville this morning down to the south. Much of the same just running into a few 40s once you get down towards say Montezuma, Unadilla and over towards Americas this morning. But you compare this to where we were this time yesterday, eight degrees cooler in Macon, six degrees cooler in Warner Robins. How about Thomaston? 13 degrees cooler there than here in 39 minutes after five on your Monday morning. So radar picture is quiet across central Georgia as expected. It will remain quiet today. However, we will see a little more in the way of cloud cover. The high pressure that was back over Mississippi yesterday has moved across the southeast now off the Carolina coast this morning and with the rainfall you see back here into Oklahoma and the parts of Missouri, this is going to be our next weather system getting its act together. It's just going to take a couple days to do so. So as we get into the afternoon, temperatures warming very quickly into the mid 60s by the time we get to the noon hour. So warming some 30 degrees with this southeasterly wind continuing. And then once we get into the afternoon, I know this is showing upper 60s, but I would not be surprised. In fact, I am expecting uh, for a majority of central Georgia to make it above that 70 degree mark like we did yesterday. 71 the high yesterday and then went for tomorrow morning. I'm going to walk outside and notice it's not as cold as it is this morning. How about low temperatures? Upper 40s, low 50s across central Georgia. The clouds will certainly be noticeable. And then once we get into the overnight into Thursday, this is really when the rain chances will pick up. There's Thursday morning on into Thursday afternoon. And then once we get into the overnight hours, Thursday into Friday, we're going to see the rain really ramp up across central Georgia. So as things stand now, Thursday, the front half of the day dry, wet, the wet for the back half of the day. Once we get into the overnight hours, again, here comes the rainfall. There's Friday morning. There's Friday afternoon. So Friday looking like a rainy day for us here in central Georgia. There's Saturday morning. The GFS still not moving the rainfall out of here. It's not going to be until about Saturday afternoon and evening is when the GFS gets it out of here. The Euro a little faster. So we'll continue to watch the model runs on this as things stand. Now we do have a level one storm threat down to the south and to the east. That is going to be for Thursday afternoon and evening, but all in all, not too concerned about that. So how much rainfall are we talking about? Well, if you ask the European uh, higher amounts down to the south over two inches potentially for East Bend. The GFS is putting that all over central Georgia. Obviously, that's keeping the rainfall around just a bit longer for us today. High 72, average high 62, so well above that. And there's that seven day forecast. How does 75 sound for Wednesday? But then here comes the rain chances beginning Thursday, lasting through Friday and the front half of Saturday.